I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units... <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. Definitely gonna I have to ask Rocket about this, this shit. later. Fetch it. Now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the Dash Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> you can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Des. <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? I 
No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. Should have gone to Mach before. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. It ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Ah! It's not alone. Get ready. Let's see those branches! 
satisfying strike. I'll take your word on that. A creature mocks us with its three gentlemen, Gidley. I don't think the goo matters. It's the spikes inside. So that's what a monster around here looks like? We're outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! You think it leads to the fortress? Hopefully. This is Seknarf 9. All paths must lead to Lady Hellbender's fortress. All right, we need to find a way up that ship. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it and all. Clearly not a husk. It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time, when the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of this world. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. I'm going to scout ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. Gamora, how much do you know about external wing controls? Maybe if you slide the circuitry, you no! Slice the circuitry! What is wrong with you? Get out of my way! I'll take care of it. Flark! That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. Every time we have wanted, we never go in. Good point. Uh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self, if it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... Get closer! 
miss it? What are we doing? Just some jelly, dudes. I took care of it. What, Scott? I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Cave with X. Where are you? Still checking things out. This place is bigger than I thought. Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. killed each other by now? The real question is who'd come out on top. <laughs> and? Always bet on the bigger gun. And Drax is a walking bigger gun. Oh, rookie mistake, man. Speed over strength, always. Besides, the more scares me. <laughs> no argument there. You done exploring, Quill? Because, uh, I really need to talk to you. There's something, um, personal I need to get off my chest. What's going on? Look, I'm not sure about this whole selling Groot thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got, Will. He's the only one who's accepted me for me. You don't know what he's been through. The way he's been treated. Look, we're on our way to sell a monster. If you think there's no way Groot can... You're looking at this all wrong. You think she's gonna see what you see? A big scary tree that only says three words. Seems pretty accurate. If she looks on the inside and sees what I see, we're screwed! Groot ain't no monster, and I don't think he could even pretend to be. He ain't no good at scheming! All right, noted. But let's agree there are no perfect solutions here. I'll think about it, okay? It's all I ask, Will. Come on, the sooner we get to Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Enough. I don't know. Rocket, can you take care of those branches? You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Drax, think this is a sign from Lady Hellbender? We are clearly not wanted on this planet. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. Guys, monster planet, dark, dangerous, can we focus here? Frightened of monsters, Peter Quill. Only for the scary ones. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization. The only settlement I saw when we were topside. Lady Hellbender's Fortress. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Oh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. Uh, dead end. 
That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What do you not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rocket. Very well. You sons of forking sharks! How will we cross? Don't face the Look around, blocks. we'll find another way. Think these statues are of the monsters on this planet? Not a chance. We both know it's too far for you to stretch across. Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she was real cozy with the bug. Wow, it is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey, I found more ruins down here. Ah, perhaps we could fashion a catapult. We're not throwing rockets. But maybe there's something else here. Think you can topple this? Indeed. I may have angered them. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait. Hear that? Voice oh. up, people. Incoming! I have your Take heed! Here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? 
The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units says it ain't. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. Gamora, mind cutting us in half? Say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? Or one Chitauri infiltrator. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. Groot says there's something down there. A monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, oh, no. God. Yep, definitely saw the giant head. Peter! Peter! Catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. <sighs> I got it. Right, guys, anyone know what that is? Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Then it is settled. Let us scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Two out of three. 
agree on Galactic War Bingo. Perhaps your magical mask can relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. It's done! Ding, ding, done! So, where are we? Waiting for you so we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Hey, Quill, am I giving the old girl a scan? I agree. Maybe part of the ship's still functional. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. <sighs> See anything useful up there? Are we sure we want to go back up? The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Yo, Quill, check out the upper wing strut. Looks pretty compromised to me. If that bomber's full of old dead Nova, maybe we should, uh, you know, lighten their pockets? By now, scavengers would have scattered the bones across the region. Guys, the creature we fought is still out there. Are we gonna do something with that reactor unit? Damaged reactor will make a poor weapon against that creature. Well... No explosions, Rocket. Boring! Maybe this Hell Lady is some old war hero and she can get Nova off our backs. I wouldn't bring up the war. How come? Those of us who took part are not eager to relive its memories. That. That's a pretty big reactor unit up there, and it's only hanging on by a thread. I wonder if we can pop it loose. Alright, I'm pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes! That is why I can easily carry this great weight. I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. I wonder if I can get down there. Peter! Try jumping! Mind lifting that up? Here looks good. Shall be done. Surprise this thing has been picked clean for salvage. This planet is no place for carrion. He's got a point. What next, Peter Quill? Spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind bubble treetops. Here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have a... 
accomplish this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's got bigger, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Looks like there's a way down here. Quill, you gotta see this ship. Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. <clears throat> okay, here we oh. go! Slimy. Guys! You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? You think? Some schmack breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Clark, Clark, Clark. Quill. Quill. A rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. It's like what? Clark, Clark. Quill. Quill. Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls scut like this. Just come to just leave the guns alone. Well, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, sorcery. Here we go again.
blast! I haven't felt this excited since the Galactic War! Better watch her out there, Quill. She fought on both sides, remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! You think they've got all the moves out there? The only moves out there? Well, I say lies. You're not noticed my mastery of the Katathian war arts. As I was saying, it's only lies. We've got plenty of rad moves on our side. Who's with me? That was Here we go, we are! We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star! Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Rocket, can you extend that cannon? With my brute animal strength? No! Max, can you drag this cannon out? I will try. It is... More stubborn than expected! Ah, impossible! It will not stay in place! You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? You try holding it for a while longer! Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out, trust me. We've got to find a way to lock it in place. Uh, I cannot hold it forever! Why will you not yield? Because it's attached to a rat. Can you try again? No, I can't do scud from outside the ship. Succumb to me, fiendish machine! Oh. I have been best at Peter Quill. There's gotta be some... Drax, can you try again? Peter Quill, use your weapons for source. I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine! Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Clark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps in here! Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing! Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah! And dry now, too! Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure! Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh, so she's a giantess now. Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? I am Groot. You're a cool dude, Groot. I am Groot. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, I know you volunteered for this, but I want you to understand that I don't really think you're a monster. I am Groot. I mean, you're super tall and intimidating, and I think that's why this is going to work, but I think you look freaking awesome. I am Groot. <laughs> I guess the rest of us must look pretty weird to you, huh? I am Groot. <laughs> that better not have been a comment about my hair. Go. The uh, employee evaluation. Did you pass? That's 
confidential. I sure hope that buttless beast ain't running back to mommy to tell on us. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> you are dead! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Just be a lesson to you. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Whoa! <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste, but The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you You're whispering? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Head. 
But we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. Oh, Seknarf ain't never heard of roads. You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. I'm pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth it. For you, maybe. I love you. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady Ink? Are we gonna fight a monster queen? You would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. It's gonna go fine, right, Groot? <laughs> yeah, you being Groot is exactly the problem. This moisture is good for us and will make us grow. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the floor? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far. What if- Let's just get this done. Infinity Bridge is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you? Oh! Right! The cage. One of you can get the Flark and was looking like a mean business. Groot. Ready to squeeze in? Um. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly, the rodent is I the one that. I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. 
Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing, like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. The final battle was awesome. Looked like the heroes were done for, but they pulled it off. Love to be able to ride one of those light cycles. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Traveling through space must be amazing. to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid. 
but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you, I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. So what, now you're too old for gifts? What? No! I was just looking around. Mom's pretty close to winning this game.
I want you home right after the movie. Can't we stop by the arcade for a bit? Keep pushing your luck, mister, and you won't be going anywhere. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I miss him so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. I'm sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat scut, Woberry. And I mean, I know what I'm agreeing to, but just for everyone else, can you explain that again? Ah. Oh. After we sell Groot, we sneak back in and use my tracking device to find him and bust him out. Oh yeah, that. Easy peasy. What could go wrong? <sighs> Look what we've got coming. Uh, are they serious? Guess we're going to find out. Man, look at this place. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is, you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I'm a talking tree. That's new. All right, get going, before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell on me? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen Orthos tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. If worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. I stand corrected. Those ain't true. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chased across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! What's the matter, Rocket? Getting cold feet? No! All right, Gamora. Looks like you're up. Makes sense. What? Like Scott she is. Look, Rocket. Let's compromise. We'll use your tracker, but we'll all go. Fine. Whatever. 
Kaleran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my king's competence. Spare me your empty attitude. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not blame me for your food. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of them. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And... such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, destroyer. What brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Destroyer. 
20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? I mean... no. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Whoa, you want to buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. We could have had such fun together. Twelve thousand for the Flora Colossus, then. Twelve thousand is not Not million. that bad for a Flora... whatever deal. Twelve thousand units it is. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be... Thank you. with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. Some of my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, it doesn't rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. <laughs> 